Hello and welcome once again to the Euclid Organic Garden. It's December 31st, 2013. And this time of year we start getting a lot of seed catalogs and anybody that's a farmer or gardener or even seeker of self-sufficiency often starts thinking of spring this time of year. It's the next season ahead and we begin to prepare. And if you grow your own food, one of the uh, hearts of your garden or farming is your seed because with, if, with poor seed you get poor returns and we used to have trouble growing a lot of crops and here we found out it wasn't the um, plants we were planting but it was the this, where the seeds came from that uh, plants that are grown and produced in colder climates often do better in colder climates and those done in warmer climates do better in warmer climates so I thought we'd go over today some of the seed companies that we use and where we get our seed and um, all this stuff isn't isn't cheap. The seed's expensive, but uh, you got to understand all the research and time that goes into this, and it helps uh, ensure that you have a good garden because things will grow. And one of our favorites is Johnny Selected Seed. We probably more, order more seed from them when you do just about anybody. They're located in Maine. Uh, do a lot of seed trials. They're an employee-owned company. And we just enjoy dealing with them. Always been good, and the seed's good. Uh, like I said, it is expensive, but when you consider you spend maybe fifty, hundred dollars in seed, and you can grow enough vegetables and stuff to grow or last for a whole year, that's a pretty cheap investment, as far as financially anyway. So Johnny's, that's one of the ones that we use. Another one we've used quite a bit is Pine Tree Garden and Seed, and they do pretty good. I'm not sure where they're located out of. Um, Heidi does most of the ordering over there out of Maine also <laughs> and that's why their seed does so well because it's grown in, and they sell seed that does well in colder climates where we live and then we get other supplies from them Heidi makes soap and things like that so she gets some of her supplies from them uh, another one this one we've just started using this is called high mowing organic seeds and they sell all organic they don't have anything that's not organic and once again their their seed is rather expensive but we have found from the, the trials we have had with their seed we've had very good luck with it they seem to be a very uh, good company very conscious uh, about their seed where it comes from no genetic modification and we may order more from them I'm not sure like I said Heidi does most of the seed ordering so but another good company and they do really well one we have, this one's out of Wisconsin, we've been doing business with Jungs for as long as I can remember and we even started getting fruits and stuff from them and we've had real good luck with their stuff too. We get them again, once again, out of Wisconsin and sell a lot of seeds and fruits and trees and things like that that do well in colder climates and we've just had good luck with them. So there's uh, Jung Seeds and Plants, uh, another good company. Another one we have, this one's a lot of fun, and if you're interested in growing seed, or needing seed, I should say, in uh, large quantities, R.H. Shumways is a great place to go. They, their seed, we've had pretty good luck with it, maybe not quite the germination rate sometimes as we did with other seeds, but uh, if you're ordering seeds like we were when we were running our CSA, and you needed several hundred dollars worth of seeds a year, R.H. Shumway was a good place to go to because they could uh, provide a lot of seed at a very reasonable price. So here you go as an update of some of the seed catalogs we, we get here at the Uber Organic Garden and what we do to uh, supply the seeds, which is the heart of our garden that produces our vegetables. And we hope to see you here next time on the Uber Organic Garden. Thanks for watching.